Hey guys, what's up? Octavion here. Today I have for you a way to buy and sell items in Minecraft using command blocks. It is very awesome. I'm, I'm quite pleased with how this actually turned out. So how it works is if you were to press tab, you can see that next to my name it says Octavion, then 20,000. That 20,000 stands for the amount of coins that I have. So it says here that I can buy a diamond for a thousand coins. So if I step on this pressure plate, I get a diamond and you can see that my coins went down to 19,000. That happened nearly instantly. Uh, it says I can buy one emerald for 2,000 coins. Just bought an emerald and my coins went down to 17,000. Now it says I can buy another star for 10,000 coins. But my goal is to get, let's say, three of these things. So what I want to do is go into my first national bank of Minecraft. I can take out some of my diamonds and some of my emeralds. Uh, let's also say I take out some dirt. In a very dirt mood. <laughs> so, uh, I want to sell some diamonds. I just place all my diamonds in here. I'd stand in front of the chest and watch as my cash goes up. So yeah, one thing that you should have noticed is that there's a piston that pushes out this glowstone block. The reason why it does this is because this is meant to be in multiplayer servers. So when you put stacks of an item inside a chest, you don't want people to be able to go up here and take the items out. So nearly as soon as you put an item inside the chest, uh, the piston pushes out, not allowing people to access the chest. and the piston retracts when your items are done selling. Here we have emeralds. A cool feature th th that I added is there's a safety feature so it doesn't get jammed. So if I was to put dirt in an emerald thinking, oh yeah, I'm just going to sell dirt and make it think I'm selling emeralds. Well no, it doesn't work that way. If you go down into this crevice right here, you right click, you can see that your dirt got stuck in it because it's not going to accept dirt. So you can just take your dirt out and your diamond or your emeralds will sell easily. And yeah, so that's that. Let's um let's buy some wither stars or some nether stars. One, two, three. Awesome. And we still have ten ten thousand coins, so let's just maybe buy another emerald or diamonds let's take two diamonds and yeah that's pretty much it for today let's get started on how to build this before I show you how the actual shop works I decided to show you how the coins worked to uh, track the amount of money that you have uh, you'll have a command block or you, j you can just type this in uh, scoreboard objectives add coins dummy coins. What this is saying is that you're adding a new objective to the scoreboard. It's going to be add, so you're adding a new objective. It's called coins, that's the internal name. Uh, it's a dummy f It's a dummy criteria, which means that you can only change it with command blocks or server commands. Then the exterior name is also coins. I like keeping the interior name, the exterior name the same, it's just the only difference is that exterior names can be two words while interior can only be one word. So you just want to click this and you'll see that nothing's happened yet. Well that's because you have to activate it. So just do scoreboard objectives, set display, list coins. So you're gonna set the display of the objectives, coins, and you're going to put it inside the list. So you click this and then you can press tab which is the default key and it will bring up with your name or everyone on the server and the yellow nu number on the very right now this is just an extra command block scoreboard players add at p coins 1000 this is saying that you're adding coins to the nearest player to, to this command block which is going to be a thousand coins so every time I click this it will add a thousand coins Okay, so now for how it works. 
If we were to come back here, we can see that each one of the shops is three wide and is completely tieable, meaning that you can place them right next to each other. How the buying mechanism works is that when you step on the pressure plate, right there, we'll activate these two command blocks, the bottom one saying give at P R equals three, score underscore coins underscore men equals 1000, 264. Okay. So what this is saying is that you're going to give at P, which is the nearest player, uh, and then in the brackets, R equals 3, so the radius is going to be 3, and it's going to check if their score coins and their minimum equals 1,000. So if they don't have 1,000 coins, it won't actually work. And then if they do have 1,000 coins, like if all of this criteria is met, it's going to give them 264, which is the diamond ID. So now, somewhat of the same thing for how the scoreboard works. You're going to do scoreboard players, remove the nearest player, same thing, R equals 3, score coins, men, 1,000. And then, so scoreboard players, remove, so that means it's going to remove the nearest player from the coins objective, a thousand. So that's how it takes away a thousand coins. Um, so how this works is when you place items inside the hopper down here, this is the hopper that your items get stuck in if they're not actually diamonds or emeralds or n nether stars. So um, all the items go into this hopper, but it only accepts diamonds. And then when it accepts the diamond, it activates it to where it puts an item inside the dropper. Then once an item's inside the dropper, it's going to activate this clock. And every single time this clock goes on and off, it puts an item inside this large chest up here. And it will also a activate this command block ba back here which is scoreboard players add at P radius equals 2 coins 750 so same thing as removing the coins except you replace the word remove with add and your score minimum or your score coins min that doesn't need to be there because you can have whatever amount of coins you want to sell something and then it's going to add 750 coins um but once an item goes inside the chest or inside the dropper at least it's just going to activate the piston not allowing anyone else to go inside the chest now it's the same thing for all the other ones except except uh, the amount of coins that it's checking for the amount of coins it's going to remove the item ID that it's going to give you so 388 in this case is emeralds and the amount of coins you get back. That's all that differentiates. So with the nether star, you get 7,500 coins for selling it. The ID of it is 399, but it's going to check if you have 10,000 coins. And it's going to check if you have 10,000 coins again. And if you do, it's going to remove the 10,000 10, coins. <laughs> And then also inside the dropper, we have five items, five items, five items, and six items. This adds up to 21, including the item that you want to sort out, which is 22. Yeah. <laughs> Just had to check my math. So as soon as another one of these items go in, it activates the second piece of redstone, which activates this redstone torch, which allows it to take an item out. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been Octavagon. Please, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. You guys are awesome. Uh, anyways, peace out.